Hello, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through the video. It is currently 4.54 p.m. Um, yeah, and I promise y'all I do not be trying to start these readings on these numbers, but hey, when when you're in alignment, I guess that's how it happens, okay? It's 4.54, 4.54. Um, if y'all don't believe me, hold on, let me show you. There you go right there. 4.54 could be significant. You guys may want to look up that angel number. All right, so this is going to be your weekend reading. I'm just going to ring my bell. It might be a little loud, y'all, but I'm going to ring the bell to clear the energy. And I think I'm going to do it three times, okay, because I haven't done it in a while. So here we go. All right. Spirit said that's enough, child. And I wasn't trying to be cocky by that in alignment remark, guys. I was just saying because it just feels good to be in alignment. It really, really does, okay? And I'm very grateful and thankful for it, all right? So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into your guys' messages. This is going to be your weekend read. Now, I always say that could be this current weekend. It could be last weekend. It could be a future weekend, okay? But this is just the weekend. So, we're going to call it the weekend read, all right? <clears throat> all right, we're going to go ahead and hop into it, guys. Please remember that these will be general messages. Everything is not going to resonate for everybody. So, only take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else. Also, please remember that time is fluid. So, I can be picking up on past, present, or future energy. And uh, masculine, feminine energies can be switched. Roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. If I say he and it's she for you, then feel free to switch the roles, okay? All right, so if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for your continued likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you for your support. If you send me donations, they are greatly appreciated. I promise you I appreciate them. Um, and thank you for donating to the channel energetically by subscribing and liking to the channel and the comments as well. I enjoy reading all the positive comments, okay? So let's see. Holy Divine Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guide of the Highest White Light, of the Highest Holy White Light, please be with me during these readings for the collective Libras. Please help me to interpret and convey your messages accurately and clearly for the collective. And please help me to use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding. Thank you so much for your continued guidance and support protection and love holy spirit i pray that whoever needs this message finds it at the right time no weapon formed against us shall prosper i say amen this is for libra someone rising venus north node anywhere that you have libra in your chart you may resonate with this reading cross watchers what's up i see you weekend read what does libra need to know for the weekend about the weekend currently what does libra need to know we can read, we can read, we can read. For Libra. Oh gosh. Okay. That's what I was trying to get. So the next 48 hours, one, one, two, three, and four p.m., five, six, seven, eight a.m. okay the next 48 hours that's what we have here so let's go ahead and get the messages um oh. being guided to pull a sacred light oracle for you guys i'm gonna do it at the end though i don't even know let me see going on this weekend for my Libras? Uh, what's the weekend messages for Libras? What do they need to know? Holy Spirit. Guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guides. What are the messages for Libras? Oh my gosh, what is going on here? 
I haven't used these cards in a minute, y'all. For my Libras. I'm sorry if my energy is a little low, y'all. I'm really, I don't know, okay? But I'm trying to get the messages out for you guys. So let's see. Messages for the weekend. The next 48 hours. What does Libra need to know about the next 48 hours? All right. So there may be some communication. There may be some communication via social media. I'm hearing something about networking, social networking. You may get um it's gonna have something to i'm hearing community and business or something so i don't know you could be somebody who works in the community or maybe this is going to be like a business communication something about something online okay for somebody um this could also be yeah something something about social media Going on. What does Libra need to know? Next 48. All right. This could be a um, I don't know, a life-changing text or phone call or something like that, or a life-changing message. Oh, excuse me. This could have something to do with your with your destiny, with your purpose. This could be a, some a new beginning here. Hmm. I just feel like if you've been feeling stuck or trapped or something, that may come to an end. That feeling is about to come to an end for somebody. I'm hearing something about coasting or the coast or coast guard. Okay. I'm also hearing follow the leader. All right. So justice. You may be... Something may be changing for you, Libra. This is your card, Justice. So this could be something that is changing for you. You may be receiving, I don't know, some life-changing news or life-changing information. Um, I'm hearing a helping hand as well. So I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to say something or something that's really going to help you out. Um... I'm hearing I'm in dire need of your assistance. Okay, I don't know what that means or what that is or who that's for. For Libra, next 48. I'm also hearing something about troubles and accusations. This is guiding me toward the tea leaf deck, so I'm going to use those next. But um, let's see, next 48. For Libra. Yeah, something about success. I'm hearing something about building. This could be about a building, okay? For some of you, this could be about a court building, a courthouse or something like that. Um, a legal situation. Something about maybe signing papers or signing contracts, but I'm hearing success. Success in business. Or, or a, a, a successful business opportunity or something like that, okay? Somebody is really satisfied with your work or you're really satisfied with, with the amount of work that you put in or the amount of work that you've done on something, okay? Um, some of you could be working late hours, maybe five, um, between 5 and 8 a.m. Maybe you get up at these times or something like that. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, opportunities, new business opportunities coming in six of pentacles okay um the six of pentacles talks about equal give and take somebody may be giving you something yeah somebody wants to give you an opportunity or they want an opportunity to work with you or something like that so you may get a phone call communication about that okay libra now this 
could uh communication could be coming in from a capricorn with the devil energy here could be a sagittarius or an aquarius yeah the star card aquarius somebody I don't know, maybe somebody sees you as a star. But some of you, you may get communication from like a, a, somebody you don't want to talk to, okay? But I'm not going to go too deep into that. Um, I'm going to clarify these cards. So for some of y'all, y'all may be getting some type of communication from somebody that you really don't want to hear from or don't want to talk to, okay? I mean, I'm here and block them, <laughs> period. Yeah, I'm here and just block them, if you haven't already. Um... Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. Let's clarify. Yeah, the star card again. So you guys are definitely dealing with an Aquarius. Something about new, new opportunities, new ventures. Somebody may see you as a star. Libra. I'm here and thank you for the opportunity. Forty-eight for Libra, yeah, Six of Pentacles again. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's this opportunity about? What's this communication coming in for Libra? What's this opportunity about? Can we get the page of swords or what's his opportunity? <laughs> okay, wow. So this has something to do with some money. Okay, seven of pentacles, two of pentacles, and the moon card. So somebody could want to invest in you or um this has something to do with some type of investments, planting seeds. Maybe some, Maybe this is an opportunity or something that you have been waiting on. For some of you, you may have a choice between um, opportunities. You may have to figure something out. I'm hearing um, something about your schedule. Like somebody may have to figure out their schedule or figure out a good time or something like that. We had something about 72%. Okay, I don't know. Maybe somebody's battery life or their phone is on 72% or something like that. Something about 72%. Um, somebody could be 27. Something about July the 2nd or February the 7th. Something about this opportunity. This could be something that is, is hidden from you or something like that. Let's see. Some comp some type of um I, oof, I almost said competition yeah with this five of wands card so there could be some type of conflict or competition in the workplace um uh, something that this may be being hidden from you hmm we had something about a plan or a strategy I did see the two of wands on the bottom of the deck before so something about a strategy or a plan. Let's see. Somebody may love their job though or love what they do or something like that or somebody loves what you do. But there's something about competition that are hidden competition. Maybe somebody's in hidden competition with you or secret competition with you like you don't even know about it or care about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I keep hearing something about the workplace. Yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody wants to work with you, collaborate with you. Somebody loves what you do and they want to work with you, okay? But there's something about some type of secret competition. Somebody secretly um, in competition with you or somebody may think that you're secretly in competition with them, but it's like you don't even care or you don't know who, you don't know them or something like that. Yeah, there's a two of wands here. Um, 
a plan or a strategy or something like that. Somebody, somebody, either you love what you do or somebody loves what you do and wants to work with you. But there may be some type of competition involved. What is this? What's this five of wands? What's the secret competition? What's this moon five of wands? Damn, that's a lot. I keep hearing strategy or plan or something like that. Okay. Um, something strategic. Maybe, maybe whatever you do requires you to be strategic. I don't know. Okay. But you got the sun, the high priestess, the three of wands, and the judgment. Yeah, I'm hearing something about a higher calling, or this is your calling, or your like your your life's purpose, your soul mission, or something like something is what you're supposed to be doing or what you're meant to do. Um I don't know, something may make you happy. Yeah, because I feel like, again, I, like you, you're you doing what you love. So whatever it is that you do, it makes you happy. But it's like somebody who's in some type of secret competition with you. So, hmm. And before I started the reading, I kept hearing jealousy. Like I heard it so loud. So somebody may be jealous of you in what you do, about what you do. Maybe you do it better. Maybe they think you, maybe they just think you do it better. Cause I'm really getting that, you know, you're just focused on you. And again, this is secret competition. So you don't even know anything about whoever this is or however they're feeling. It's like you're focused on your own strengths and weaknesses or whatever. Like you're just focused on, on you. Okay. And it's like, uh, somebody may be secretly trying to do something to make you walk away from, yeah, from this opportunity or from what it is that you're doing. There's somebody who's, who's like watching you. Okay. Page of Swords, first energy out here. So whoever this person is, who feels like, who, who was in this secret competition with you, Libra, they watch you. So yeah, Libra. Um, sorry, I had to pause again. But yeah, whoever is in this secret competition with you, child, they're watching you. And I don't know what this is pertaining to. Um, again, this could be your work. This has something to do with your job, whatever you do for work. Um, again, we the first thing I picked up on was social media. So if you have some type of platform or something like that, it's something that you do that you love to do that somebody people love it. People love what you do. People want to work with you. Um, I mean, something about clients, but it's just somebody who feels like they're in a secret, secret competition with you and they watch you. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Look at how this three of wands is facing this uh, moon card. <laughs> okay. Like secretly though, right? The moon is about secrets. So this person secretly watches you. I'm hearing hate on me, hate on me. So you might have some type of secret hater, hater who's in a secret competition with you. Tell me about this. Um, child. Tell me about this person, this secret competition, child, or whatever. But well, we already clarified that. I mean, that's gonna it's something's gonna come to light with the judgment card here. Somebody may be looking at you, judging what you do as well. Okay, for some of you, you could be intuitive. This could have something to do with um, if you have a platform, if you're a tarot reader, or if you do something because it's something about social media. Okay, that's just what I, I the first thing that I picked up on. Okay, but there are business opportunities coming in for you guys. Somebody wants to work with you, you could be getting a lot of clients, um, or something like that. Okay. I just feel like whoever this is, they're not going to be able to like, <laughs> some of you, like if you're intuitive and you are, if this has something to do with tarot, um, the tarot community or 
um, whatever it is, this person, like, they're not going to be able to hide this. I, I heard hide their disdain. Somebody can't, can't hide their disdain for you. Okay. First of all, it's going to come to the light here with the sun and the high priestess because you're somebody who's intuitive here. The moon card also talks about intuition. So you could like feel this energy or you could like know who this is. Or, I mean, I just keep really heavily picking, getting that you don't really care. Like you're not worried about it. Because you're just doing your own thing. You're over here in the Nine of Cups energy. You're focused on yourself. This is somebody who is like unbothered and doesn't care because, you know, you're focused on you. You're worried about what, what you do. You're not worried about what other people are doing. Even if, um, you know, you guys are doing the same thing. You focus on you. You do what you do the way that you do it. And you wish everybody else well. And you, move, and you know, you keep pushing. What's this opportunity coming in for the Ace of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles, what is this? What's this opportunity coming in? So you may find out about this secret competition, okay, <laughs> in 48 hours or something like that. Yeah, King of Pentacles, yeah. So you guys, y'all, it's like y'all getting money, you know what I'm saying? Your business, whatever this opportunity is, there's somebody who wants to work with you. King of Pentacles is like a, I'm hearing business savvy, um... Child, I don't know why I just heard Joker Trickster. I don't know what that's about. What's this opportunity about? Somebody may be like playing in your energy or something like that. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, somebody may have thought something was going to slow down for you or try to slow something down for you. Somebody could be like sending you negative energy, hoping that something slows down for you. But I feel like um, you guys, like that's not going to happen and they're going to be upset about it or sad about it. What's the new opportunity coming in for Libra? What's this Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles? Somebody wants to give you an opportunity. What is this? Yeah, Eight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to give you an opportunity. Yeah, Ace of Swords. That's the truth, child. But there's a hater. Look at the devil on the bottom. You guys got a secret hater. Somebody who's in secret competition with you, okay? Yeah, wanting you to walk away from something. Yeah, somebody's on some job by. Okay, so I don't know, Libra, you may be discovering this in the next 48 hours or something like that, but I do see somebody wanting to give you a new opportunity here, okay? It could be a Virgo, could be um, a Sagittarius, okay? And Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy is out here, okay? Um, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. You guys are going to get some type of truth and clarity about something, about some opportunity, but I do see, I see things moving fast, moving forward for you fast and in the right um, direction, okay? So, all right. Um, I'm going to pull a soul's journey card for y'all. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull some star seed oracles for y'all. For my Libras. Can I get some star seed messages? Thank you. Okay, you got choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of your choice, okay? So, yeah, be, be mindful of your thoughts here, okay? Gratitude, universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Can I get one more, please? Thank you. And you have dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. So yes, and then truth on the bottom of the deck. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Yeah. Um, and it came out in a reading 24, 44 on the timer. It came out yesterday and uh, I can't remember which reading it was. Something about somebody doesn't want you to know something, but um, it's just relevant because it's come out in a lot of times. Pay attention to your dreams. If, um, if some of you are intuitive or whatever, you can get downloads in your dreams. Oh, excuse me, pay attention to your dreams. Um, and there was something about 
speaking your truth that had that came out in a read like people somebody doesn't like the fact that you speak your truth or speak the truth somebody may be afraid of a truth about them coming out or something like that um i don't know but yeah it's something about walking in your truth and speaking the truth all the time okay always just like be yourself and don't forget to show gratitude um, just know that the choices that you are making are leading you in the right direction, okay? So stay very conscious in your thoughts, okay? Because whatever you're thinking about is what, you know, the universe is picking up on, okay? So your thoughts, you know, guide your journey in the direction, in whatever direction that, you know, you're thinking about or whatever. Y'all know, y'all know. Be mindful of your damn thoughts, okay? That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to leave that message right there. I don't know if somebody got something out of it. And I will see y'all in the next reading, okay? Until next time, I'm wishing y'all peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. All right, bye.